bodies. Uh, I would also Half like them for back. Dead. No, same price. Because oh, okay. their their families are they are worried. But see here's the thing, and you know, she kinda huddles in a little bit. Drove us she really doesn't like my order too much. She's not too thrilled about Thornkeep. So, you know, you might not want to bring attention to yourself if you're going to the Emerald Spire. No. Oh. Even and even if you do, uh, there's chances that you could possibly lose a lot of the wealth that you come across in taxes, if you know what I mean. Oh, I see. All right. Some things, so we don't make this official. Uh, well, I am not associated with Ford Inevitable. I am just a simple passer, stopping here, you know, at the inn, grabbing some some good food, and passing back towards Thornkeep. This is not my jurisdiction. We will find the wizards. I will keep I will keep the reward here with Dolliver. Uh I should ask. Has anyone else gone looking for them? No one else has gone looking for them, no. I actually just got to Inevitable this morning. And I have to All ride right. back towards Thornkeep already, so have you not spoken with anyone else about this? You are the first. Okay, give us the first try before you mention it to anyone else, please. I will not, because I'm going to be on my way out now. My mission is accomplished here. Uh, I had no one in Thornkeep that wanted to take the task. They were... They weren't quite. They weren't responsive at all when I brought up the Emerald Spire. What should we know about the Emerald Spire that they wouldn't want to do this with the Emerald Spire? Well, that's it's a it's an old, old, old thousands and thousands of years old. Uh, I'm not too I'm not too keen on the history of this place. But I'm sure there are probably uh, people or scholars around Ford Inevitable that could possibly tell you about this place. But all I know is uh, I have a couple wizards. They were, you know, doing some research. They we've had this uh, teleport key, teleportation key for quite a while. So it, it was a uh, like a look like a shard of uh, green jade or emerald, and it was just like a shard and. There's a lot of runes and glyphs on this, and we we did research and through a lot of tombs and texts that we had in the library in Thornkeep, we were able to deci decipher that this was an old ancient spire transport transport token, and these tokens would you know teleport you with uh, the command word, and matching the glyphs up to the glyphs on uh, a level of the you know the dungeon. There's many levels in this dungeon. Many levels. There's a lot do documented. Do you have a, a drawing of the shard? What it looks like? I do not have a a drawing of it, but it is only I've only seen it one time. It's only several inches long. It's uh it's made out of emerald. And like I said, it's got little runes and glyphs and writings on it. You'll know what one looks like if you find it. It's greenish glass. Is there more of these out there than just the one, or is well, this the a text? One of... The text said that there were many of them, and all of the old inhabitants of the dungeon of that you know of that civilization would use these tokens to you know get back and forth. But over tens of thousands of years, you know, now they are nothing but things. What written was this in... old civilization? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Let me give you a little bit of uh, give you a little bit of information. She'll know just a very tad little bit of it. So the history of the Emerald Spire is largely unknown, and she's basically I'm paraphrasing her, you know, talking to you about this, and it is largely un unknown in this day and age. 
Few scholars have ever studied the place as far as the local people of the River Kingdoms are concerned. It's enough to know that the spire is old, strange, and very, very dangerous. Even learned folks generally, mis generally mistake the Tower of Green Glass raised by, here's the thing, a themen for the spire's original structure. So, Nur Athenan is supposedly the spire's original creator. And this is why the Emerald Spire's Spire is widely reported to be an Aslanti ruin, Aslanti, Aslanti ruin, or thought to be some kind of retreat or workshop for the Aslanti who once lived in the Echo Wood, which they do not live here anymore. It's been many, many, many thousands of years since I've been here. So the Aslanti, A-Z-L-A-N-T-I, Aslanti. Aslanti, Aslanti, however you want to say it, I don't care. We'll just, I'll say Aslanti, so... Let's see Aslanti. what Dirt calls it. Dirt, what do you call it? Um, for right this minute, I'm going to go with Aslante. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> so the Aslanti people were the ones who created it, and then its creator is Nur Azathum. So, as Athamon, sorry about that. N H U R, Nur, N H U R, A T H E M O N, Athamon. And that's pretty much the as much lore and history that she knows about the spire. Hmm. I always thought it was just a um, dumb tower. Neat. Yeah, the spire basically juts up a mile into the air, and you guys have seen this. Holy Trav shit, a mile! Yeah, yeah. It's a. It looks like a giant emerald shard that just extends way up into the air, sort of like, you know, one of the towers. Like I mean, it's up a mile in the air, and it's you know, it's kind of at an angle, and there are. It's like our father's penis. <laughs> Thank you, dirt. I appreciate that. I could just, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can just imagine that. <laughs> As your mom's pelvic bones were just cracking and she died, right? I mean, unbelievable. <laughs> Dirt, thank she you so much for that. She didn't die because she had us. Didn't die. She ran out of breast milk. Difference. <laughs> She's still alive. She just has really saggy titties. They look like they look like hound dog ears. You know. <laughs> unbelievable. Okay. Thank you, Dirt. <clears throat> Let's get back to the spire, shall we? <laughs> no problem. Let's do that. <laughs> Looks like Dirt's nutsack. <laughs> See, now you got Vay doing it. <laughs> Unbelievable. I tell you what, man. After I hit 45, I did have to lower the water level in the toilet because they hung a little bit in there, and I was like, yeah. So, yeah, I had to lower my water level. Yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, All right, back to the sphere. Back to the, right. yeah. I, I know you guys are in character as we're playing this, but you guys are, you know, the the female, she's just looking at you with her her mouth open as in like, <laughs> as she's just listening to this unbelievable <laughs> talking about, about a crap that's, that's coming yeah. out <laughs> of the mouth. What is the size of this? <laughs> you, you'll just have to excuse my, my fellow adventurers. They... They know nothing of mannerisms. Yeah, that's right. All conversations are in character. No, usually half orcs don't. And she looks serious too. Oh, and, trust me. And we she, don't know that. I, I do want to know this. Are are you going to take this serious, or do I need to to look elsewhere? I mean, because I will stay in Fort Inevitable. I do have a little bit of time to spare. We may not look it, but we are the ones you are looking for. You can take this task. Oh, okay. I look it. <laughs> she eyes you up and down, Vey, a couple times. Dirk's <laughs> 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 always looking for a good battle. Have you seen my character? I definitely look it. Well, everyone does, really. Yeah. Except for Cade. He looks like a mad, wild man. Yeah. Kay's got an eight, man. He's just ugly. I love that druid picture, though, man. That was good to find it. You know, actually with a club. That's that's really good. No, I had to do all that. Oh, did you do? That? Did you make that? No, not her. I had to 
I took her, and then I had to move the arm, redo the hair. She was an orc, so I had to make her human flesh colored, and then wow. added the uh, club. Wow, good job, Bay. Holy crap. Lad Dog, you look like a... Uh... Half work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my head's a little misformed there. Cade, <laughs> cut and paste. You look uh, definitely like a higher level sorcerer. You don't look like that now, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. Boris is is just plain old Boris, and old Big Dirt. This is uh, old Big Dirt. Old, unbelievable. <laughs> I'm totally better there looking the Big Dirt. That's for damn sure. Who has the better looking uh colonist score between you two? Uh, Lad Dog. Lad Dog. I've got nineteen. No. Yeah, I can tell you it's Lad Dog. Whoa. Wow, Vase noticed that. Unbelievable. Mm hmm All I right. remember I've got a dent on my head where my mother <laughs> caught me between her knees before I could hit the floor. That's that's yep. minus five. Yep, that's real sexy. Alone, yeah. Alright. So she really wants to know if you guys are going to be the you know serious about accepting this because her colleagues mean a lot to her. They are important to her operation, and she needs uh, to find these wizards uh, as soon as possible. We're always serious. Iliara Starcloak. So, all right. Believe me, I take a I I, I take a thousand gold very seriously. She tells Dolliver that uh, she will have one of her messengers bring the reward and bring it in conspicuously so no one knows about it. So, and one last thing. Uh, she tells you if you are caught, if the Hell Knights or Drovust catches you, uh, she will deny all of this, and uh, Dolliver will as well. As is expected, then. And she tells you that she hopes that you find something else and be in touch with Dolliver. And she you know, she kind of nods a little bit. Heads back over to her table, takes the last couple drinks out of her out of her mug, and walks out of the old Jewel of Her Arms tavern in a tavern. Well, best, I guess we better get ready for the next day. You guys are awesome. Uh, well, I mean, it's only midday. I mean, it's you know, it's like uh, Iliara said. She, you know, she's gonna go ahead and leave early. She's got to be back to Thorn Keep not till this evening. So you've got plenty of time to still check out uh, Ford Inevitable, or if you'd like to. I mean, if you want to, you can just kind of camp for the rest of the night. Got a bed and bunk. I don't care. You can do whatever you want to do. Oh, no. no. We need to explore. Do I know how far the spire is from here? Uh, the spire is about six miles. I believe it's to the southeast. Let's. Uh, all you got to do is open up your Echo Wood map. All right. So it'll three hours. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. It's, it's northeast. A little northeast. Mostly east. But it's on the right side of the map. See? Oh, I'm sorry. Blah, blah, blah. And see this big clearing? in the lower middle part of the map where it says Emerald Spire, that's where it's at. So only about three hours walk. Maybe we should just stay here tonight and leave first thing in the morning. But of course we don't want to tell anyone. Right, but I would like to maybe explore the... I mean, definitely we need to explore the town oh, a little sure. bit more. Yeah. I want to do that. Yeah, because we have the rest um, of the day here. There might be other places to eat. Maybe ask, uh, <laughs> ask maybe uh, some information about local lore about the the tower. We don't want to draw too much attention to us, though. So be careful with what words you use. Yeah. So you can kind of see here. Here's uh, the Emerald Spire, sort of like what it what it looks like, you know, runes around it. You've seen this before, Vey. You've passed through. I mean, you haven't gone up to the runes because it, it is uh, it is pretty dangerous. You know that from your travels, you know, 
Holy crap, is that so, Ultron? That, yeah, <laughs> it is Ultron. Um, is that what we're going to go up against? <laughs> no, that's Lord, just I, a, I'm done. Wait, that's wait. just a picture that I imposed on there, just so you guys would ask. Looks like Borderlands. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's what yeah. the, the spire looks like. And as you can see, the the emerald just basically, the, the shard just extends like a mile up into the air. So there you go. That is it. So what else do you guys want to do uh, while you're in Fort? There's a lot to do here still. There are a lot of locations here in uh, Fort. I mean, well, I don't think we need any invincible. equipment right now. Right? <clears throat> you well, guys have enough equipment? We're, well, now that you know what we're going up against. And Fort we're going Inevitable. To do, switch anything out. Oh, what's up there, Skyrim boss? Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, a lot of people are well, starting to find me from YouTube. Dirt here. Oh, right. What did you want? You guys are cool playing till 1 o'clock, too, right? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I would just love to have a quick break real quick, though. Yeah, you want to take a break? Let's take a...